Hi, this is Matt Ferguson with Exec Picks. I'm here in my kitchen shooting a little video. And I thought during this time, when people are taking a lot of uh, Zoom videos and uh, FaceTiming with each other, you might want to find a good spot in your house to do that. So I thought I'd give you a few tips. Uh, what I've got here is a large, wide open window, a lot of natural light coming in, light that we can control easily with this giant shade. Also over here there's a skylight in the ceiling. This is a good place to shoot because you've got two light sources. This one gives a little kicker down the side of my face, you'll see here, throws a little background light, gives a little separation light, and that's, that's very important. We've got an interesting backdrop here with the, uh, the plant and the clock and some elements over on this side. And you want to have the shot be wide enough so you can use your hands. If you're going to demonstrate some things, you want to be able to uh, have the shot wide enough to do that. Um, and the other thing is stability for your camera. Um, it's very good to have a tripod, even little tripods. This little guy, a little Olympus tripod, is very nice. It's got legs that fold out. It's got a ball joint on top to make adjustments. It's handy. You squeeze it down, put it in your pocket, you're ready to go. This is kind of the medium sized one here for this, this kind of thing. Um, this telescope's up to uh, be about a third of this length and it's got the ball joint of course and this is a mount for a phone that I took off a selfie stick. This was just on the selfie stick. I just unscrewed it, put it on the tripod mount and there you go. You've got a great little stable place for your phone videos. Thirdly, I've got this kind of tripod. This one has a very wide base. The legs are very wide, very sturdy. You fold it down, it turns, it gets that thin, really easy to put in a backpack. So, hope you have fun with shooting videos in your house. We'll have more tips coming soon.